This is Jacob Carver. Welcome back to the Butcher Shop. Once again, it's Saturday. It's Slashback Saturday, and I'm sure everybody knows what Slashback Saturday is by now. And this week's theme is matriarchal slashers, or slashers that have to do with mothers. And yes, I figured this is the opportune time for me to talk about one of the classics, Friday the 13th. And here's my opinion on Friday the 13th. And I don't have to give a synopsis or anything because I'm sure every fucking horror fan out there knows what Friday the 13th, Jason, and all that shit. I'm sure everybody knows. So I'm not going to go into that. I'm just going to tell you what I think about Friday the 13th. Is Yeah, it's probably one of the top 10 slashers on my list. And of course, I'm sure it's top 10 on a lot of people's lists. But here's my problem with Friday the 13th. If you ever saw the movie, the 1971 movie, A Bay of Blood, I'm sure when Sean Cunningham was making Friday the 13th, he saw A Bay of Blood and he fucking ripped off A Bay of Blood pretty much. So that's what Friday the 13th is to me. It's a solid slasher for a, a, a U.S. slasher, it is. But it... Every, there's a lot of the kills in Friday the 13th that simulate kills that are pretty much exactly the same from A Bay of Blood. And to me, that kind of is a cop-out. I'm pretty sure when he had the, the original gimmick title for Friday the 13th, he say, oh yeah, I saw A Bay of Blood, so I'm just going to rip it off. And at, back in the 80s, no one probably had access to movies like A Bay of Blood. But yeah, over the time of the release of video stores and videos, you could get access to those kind of movies and watch them. And so, yeah, it, I mean, the effects in Friday the 13th are fucking top notch because they're done by Tom Savini. But, and, you know, that's the cool thing about it. And yes, this movie does feature a mother. And for those who haven't seen it, I'm not going to spoil the, the mom part of the thing, but it's, yeah, it is, it's still on my top 10 list of slasher movies because it is a solid movie it won't be my number one that's maniac for people that watch my channel everybody knows that but this is uh probably around maybe five on my list but and, and uh I, and another reason i picked the friday the 13th is my fellow youtube friend Kali roseanne is currently uh reviewing the whole entire Friday the 13th franchise so if you're not subscribed to her channel I'll leave, leave a link down below so you can go check out her reviews and see her thoughts on the Friday the 13th franchise so this has been Jacob Carver until the next time let the blood run red